Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. I just want to kind of give you guys a little bit of a heads up um, as to why exactly I haven't been, I've been kind of missing <laughs> in these last few days. Um, I do want to apologize for the lack of videos for the last few days. Uh, in case you aren't aware, I've basically been giving my website a complete makeover. I've even um, posted some kind of little sneak previews already on social media and in Discord if you haven't seen those already. It is looking absolutely beautiful. Um, if you visited my website before in the past, it was decent. It did its job, okay? Um, but now, but now, oh my god, it just... <laughs> Well, I'll, 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 get, I'll show you guys because like I am absolutely loving uh, the new platform that I'm using now. Um, so this right here is the, the homepage right now. There's a few things I still need to tweak, but for the most part, most of the site's done already. Um, but this is a site, this is like the first thing you see on the homepage is the picture of uh, Ak or Lee and Kyrie um, with the sunset and whatever training grounds they are and it says become a dandelion. Uh, you click recent updates, it scrolls you down. This is where the articles, the most recent like article updates and stuff, this is where it's going to appear now. Uh, scroll slowly down, it looks beautiful. Um, scroll down, there's this section too. This is just filler text at the moment. Um, I'm still figuring out what to put there. And then right below that, the bottom of the page, uh, I have basically a bunch of quotes from you guys in the community. As of right now, it's just from Discord. But if any of you guys would like to leave a quote of your own to put down on the bottom of my homepage, uh, go ahead and leave a quote down in the descriptions of any of my videos. Um, every once in a while, I'll replace and update some of the quotes here on the page with uh, new quotes from different people. Um, just so that way it's always a little bit different. And uh, who knows, maybe you'll see maybe you'll see your own name down there as well. I think it'd be cool. It's a nice, nice little way to have a little bit of, you know, further interact with the community if that makes sense i think it's a nice addition um but aside from the home page i am having a new story tab as well um this is honestly one of the things i'm most excited about too uh right here uh i haven't done this part just yet because i haven't made any videos for it yet um, but i am planning to have sometime fairly soon a video going over the entire uh, cinematic cutscenes relevant to the actual lore of Kingdom Hearts that come from Union Cross. Um, skipping all the, you know, Disney worlds and stuff that are not relevant, all those cutscenes. Um, so this will be the main story, and then below that you can actually watch the individual worlds and even like the summer vacation and stuff. Um, right below that, I'm gonna put Agrabah up here soon. Um, in addition to that. So that way it helps you guys be able to still enjoy watching the story um, And for any beginners who just want to learn about the story you can just go visit here or anybody who's doing new stuff um, New stuff like on YouTube and stuff any youtubers they can just go here as well I feel like this is like I'm on I'm really excited about this the other parts of the site are more or less the same still um, The metal analysis is section is going to be get receiving a huge upgrade because I know in the past uh, I would pretty much only have the all metal section and that would be it. Like that would be the only thing that's actually remotely upgraded. And even then, only the tier section uh, would actually be updated and like individual things like attributes and like specific attribute combinations, these won't really been, have been updated too much at all. Um, but now because of the fact I'm basically going through a full process of trying to get everything automated, uh, as much as possible so that way whenever I make a new metal analysis article it automatically gets uploaded to every single related uh, like topic related to it so let's say if we have Psyx plus for example he's a power reverse tier 8 metal um, as soon as I make the article he'll automatically be uploaded and added to the tier 8 section along with the power section the reverse section and the power reverse section so it's gonna it's a nice it's a huge improvement in a way cuts down time on my end from having to literally sync up each article with every single freaking page on the site it just automatically does it now um, and at the same time makes it so the site is a little bit more actually filled up now <laughs> for how I like it. Uh, one thing I also am adding as well and I've been wanting this for a very long time is I'm finally adding a donation uh, section to the site too because I do work really hard on the site. Honestly, as a YouTuber, I I don't have to make a site at all, to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm making the site purely, purely for the community um, and just because of the fact that I'm a hardcore Kingdom Hearts fan. Uh, but at the same time, running a site is costly and 
I'm not rich. <laughs> so any and all donations are never required, but are greatly appreciated. Um, uh, there is a cart section uh, within the site as well. Uh, there's nothing to really put in here at the moment aside from donations, but I would like to sooner or later as a youtuber uh, Make my own merch or something so that at the very least this is there for when I do end up making my own merch or something um, And a new aspect too is that you guys can finally create your own accounts for the site too So like a login page and stuff you can actually make your own accounts now register um, and in the future there will be some features coming soon where basically Kind of like how I have Patreon and you can like kind of like do like a monthly subscription to get all these extra benefits through Patreon. Uh, I'm hoping to sooner or later replace Patreon with everything from my site because if I do that, not only will I actually get more of the actual full amount of money that you guys are basically donating for the membership, um, but this, which lets me cut down on fees from third party sites like Patreon and such. Uh, but at the same time, it gives me more direct access and control over uh, being able to give you guys the content that I promise you for being, you know, for like memberships and stuff like that. Uh, when I say memberships, memberships are basically the exact same thing as being a Patreon member. Uh, so like if you pay $5, you get, you know, sneak peek access to articles and stuff like that. That's, that's basically what I'm saying. And last but not least, another thing that's getting a huge upgrade are well it's not a huge upgrade but it's like it's a nice quality of life upgrade are the actual articles themselves for the metal analysis articles where if you click on an article now so we'll take Kyrie x plus for example if you click on an article now there's a few things you'll notice one uh though the most some of the most recent posts are going to be posted right here on the right hand side so you can just kind of quickly go boom 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 look at the most recent ones if you want um and at the same time i added a new beginner rating right here in the middle of the article uh, which is to help give you guys a quick uh, glance as to how easily usable uh, the metal is so like a five out of five is like it's super easy anybody can use it type of thing even a, a beginner can use it that's why i call it beginner rating okay um, so someone who just joined the game can use this straight out the get-go um, and a one out of five or even a zero out of five i don't know if i'll ever have that but a one out of five at the very least means that it's like you know it's super niche um it's probably geared for mostly just veteran players and such uh, that type of aspect. Not everyone really needs or can use that metal type of thing. So I made the beginner rating for that. I feel like it's just a nice way to help give an extra sense of like analytical reference uh, for my guides. Um, and another thing I want to add to is the fact that you guys can now finally uh, comment on the actual metal analysis articles themselves as well. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time, but I've never actually been able to implement, but because of the fact that the platform that, uh, that I'm using is currently in the process of like upgrading their software and stuff, it's also basically by extension upgraded the software that I can use. So now a lot of the stuff I couldn't do, I can now do uh, on the website, which is one of them being being able to add comments to the actual uh, articles. I think this is really cool. Um, I've always really been curious as to like what people think about uh, metals and stuff after reading my articles. Um, and it's just a way to be able to further interact with the community. There's going to be a few extra things in the future that I'm looking to update as well. Um, but for the most part, these are more or less the changes I've been making to the site. I just could tell like it looks it looks almost completely different. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I honestly can't wait for you guys to use it. <laughs> uh, I uh, like this is a site that I can now see myself um, or any player looking to get into Union Cross frequently coming back to a lot more now, uh, more than it used to be before. Because like I said before, it was more kind of like in a usable state compared to like a like legit like oh my god this website is fantastic type thing. At least to me, that's how I, I, how I always felt about it. Um, but other than that. That was it for today, guys. I kind of just wanted to talk about my site real quick. But don't worry, uh, I'm actually going to be having another video come out later today. Um, talking about the foretellers, uh, a recent PvP glitch, standard weekly update, all that good stuff. I'm basically spending today to just 
uh, make a bunch of videos because I know I've been missing these last few days. Also, just to let you guys know, the website, like the form that you see in this video, is currently not up live just yet. Uh, but I am hoping to get it live sometime within a week or so. But until then, the site's not going to be really accessible, or at least vis this version of the site's not going to be accessible. So I just ask you guys to be patient about it. Uh, last thing to mention as well is the fact that for those of you that are using Android, uh, I know um, I've been aware for a very long time that the old version of my site has been having an issue where it'll have like a weird skipping jumping effect or something. We've been trying to address it for a very long time, but um, I am fairly confident that I want to actually know until the site goes live, unfortunately, but I'm fairly confident that with these new drastic major updates um, that are being made to the software that for the platform that I'm using, that the issue should be gone now. Um, but if it isn't, please, by all means, let me know in the comment section and stuff. So that way uh, I can relay it back to the devs. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts are about the the website that you kind of saw in the video and stuff. What, if you have any suggestions as to what could possibly be added to the site, I am all ears. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.